gentle drink, okay, and are getting on well with it. Um, by now, we should have a, a very good uh, grasp of our D major scale of the, the different notes and uh, very used to it of our, of our notes. So in this lesson, we're going to go up an octave. So we're going to look at high D, high E and high F sharp. So again, like our uh, low notes, it's just to get used of um, where where the notes are and getting our fingers used to, to playing the notes. Um, so we should already know where our high D is from our D major scale. Uh, we looked at it in a previous lesson. Uh, just to remind you, it is, so our high notes are all on our right hand. So, high D is on our middle line and our second row. So we're using our middle finger for high D and high D is on the pull. So we're going to pull. Okay, so I hope you've all found that just once more. Okay, so our next note is our high E and high E is on the very same button as our high D. So it's in the middle line of the second row and it's on the push. So second line, sorry, middle line, second row. So we're using our middle finger and we're pushing. Okay, so that's our high E. I'll play it once more. Super. Our next note then is our high F sharp. So our high F sharp is on our inside line. So the line nearest to us, and this is on our right hand. So our inside line on the first row. So we're using our index finger. And F, high F sharp is also on the pull. So like our low F sharp. So they're both on the pull. So our inside line, first row, and we found it on the pull. So So again, just make sure that we're keeping our concertina on our leg, on the timber part, and not on the bellows. And we're pulling them with our right hand. So F sharp once more, inside line, first row, so our first finger, and pull. Okay, so there are three notes for this lesson. So high D, high E, and high F. So just to recap, high D, middle line, second row, on the pull, so we're using our middle finger, and we're going to pull that. High E then is on the middle line of the second row, so same button except we're pushing. And then finally, our high F sharp is on our inside line of our first row. So we're using our index finger or our first finger and we're pulling for high F sharp. So. Okay, so high D, pull. High E, push. And our high F sharp. Super. So we're going to practice these three notes again in this lesson by uh, learning our Mary Had a Little Lamb using these three notes. So our first note is high F sharp. So 
inside line, first row on the pull. Then we've high E, so middle line, second row on the push. Next we've high D, so same button as high E except on the pull. And then we're going to push again for high E, so same button, push. Then we've three high F sharps. So inside row, inside line, first row, and pull. Back down to high E, we have three high E's on the push. And then back to high F for three. So inside line, first row, pull. Then high F again. High E, so middle line, second row, push. High D, very same button as high E except pull. Then push again for high E. Three F sharps. And then high E again. High F. E. And D to finish. Okay. So that again now. So F sharp, high E, high G, high E, high F sharp, high E, high F sharp, high F sharp again. High E, high D, high E, high F sharp, high E, high F sharp, high E, and high D. Okay, super. Let's play that the whole way through now. So starting with high F sharp. Again, that's just to get used of our high notes um, and when we've these learnt and we know where they are, it'd be much easier for us to move on to other tunes that include high notes. So if you work through them three notes and also don't forget to practice um, our D, D major scale, so from our low D up to our high D, just so we keep on top of it and don't forget it. So. Um, see you in the next lesson. I'm going to continue on.